I'm SD and I got some tips for you if you're buying a new sewing machine. I don't really like long intros though. Let's do this. One, avoid plastic. Now don't get me wrong, plastic is good for a lot of different things that we use and consume on a daily basis. And that's all good and great and grand and all, but see the thing is, is plastic is cheap. And because plastic is cheap, it is easily replaceable. And because it's easily replaceable, that means that the things that we use that are made out of plastic, they don't really last very long. Now. You don't want your sewing machine to not last you very long. I mean, chances are good that you spent a pretty penny on it, so you actually want it to, you know, get some, you want to get some longevity out of it, and you want it to last you for a while. So avoid plastic as much as you can. Now the outside of your machine, that's okay. Um, the outside of your machine is going to be made out of plastic. That is completely fine. What I'm talking about are kind of the inner mechanisms, the inside parts that move and spin. Those, those right there, you want those to be made out of metal. Anything that's moving should be made out of metal. Old school metal sewing machines, they still work great. It's actually pretty crazy. You can go back in time like a hundred years back to when Germany was all salty about the Treaty of Versailles. Those sewing machines, they can still do their job. They can still tailor your clothes. Metal. Two. Now this one is really, really, really important. Are you ready? Make sure you buy the right brand. And Singer and Brother, they're kind of the two head honchos in the whole sewing machine space because they've been doing it for a really long time. But there's a couple of other brands too that are actually pretty solid. Um, one of them is gonna be Viking, uh, one of them is gonna be Genome, and another one is gonna be Bernina. So if you see those, those are pretty solid too. I like Viking, there's a herg, a ferg, a churg, a ferg. Let me know down in the comments if you get the Leif Erikson SpongeBob reference, that'd be dope. And yes, there are other brands out there that make some really solid quality sewing machines too. Um, the reason why I'm telling you that Singer and Brother are my go-to is just because, well, first off, they are. Second off, those other brands are good, but here's where everybody kind of drops the ball a little bit. Accessories. You might find a really solid sewing machine that will do exactly what it is that you want it to do, but there might not be very many accessories that are compatible with it. Let me tell you a story. Joanne Fabrics, I had to uh, I had to go there to go get a new presser foot for my sewing machine. And so I walk inside and in the middle of Joanne Fabrics is uh, is where they have like the whole setup for all the sewing stuff. And I go over there and then there's a lady sitting at this desk and I'm like, hey, I need, um, I need a blind hem presser foot for my sewing machine. And she was so rude. I will never forget this. It made me so mad. She's like, well, what do you need it for? And I'm like, is that like a prerequisite for sale? Could you just tell me if you have it or not? I'm like, yo, get off my back. Anyway, long story short, um, they didn't actually carry it. They don't make the kind of presser foot that I was looking for for my machine. I was kind of annoyed about it, but it is what it is. Um, Singer and Brother sewing machines, they have a ton, a plethora of different accessories. So if there's things that, you know, other things that you want to do with your machine, like a, like a blind hem stitch, or if you want to shorten a dress shirt, for instance, there's different presser feet that go with your machine that make it so much easier. And those two, like, yeah, they, you're gonna find it for those two machines. Three, mechanized versus computerized sewing machines, or even kind of like a, a mix or a hybrid of the two. Now, mechanized sewing machines are great because they're cheaper, they're lighter, they're just more simple. It's just a mechanical process as far as tailoring your clothes goes. And because of that, the chances of something going wrong or the chances of something breaking, it's it's a lot less than it would be with a computerized sewing machine. Oh, and, uh, and mechanized sewing machines are actually, they're lighter too. We're, we're gonna get to that in a second. Now, computerized sewing machines, don't get me wrong, uh, computerized sewing machines are actually amazing because they have like, Oh, I don't know. Um, let's do the math really quick here. Um, 13,347 more features than a mechanized sewing machine has. And because of that, you just have so much more room for just, you know, different projects and activities and just a ton of different things you can do on those machines. And here's an interesting one too, because the motor of the machine is ran by a computer as opposed to being mechanized, it actually has a stronger motor to it. So you can do things like canvas or jeans or leather a lot better with a computerized machine than you could with a mechanized machine. Does all of that make sense? Like it's kind of hard to follow all of this. But because that computerized sewing machine has a stronger motor, it's also gonna be heavier. Uh, the reason why I bring that up is because not everybody has a dedicated space to actually use their sewing machine. 
This guy, this guy right here, I can't, I don't want to, I want to make sure my hand is in, in frame here. Uh, this guy does not have a dedicated space for that. Now, uh, the reason why I bring that up is because I just, I have to lug my machine all over the place. I just kind of, you know, I have to set it up, do my thing, and then go and put it away. If that isn't a concern for you, if that's not like a big deal, if you can just like put your machine down on a dedicated table and leave it, absolutely go with a computerized machine. But if you're like me and you gotta kind of like have more of a run and gun setup, you gotta do your thing and then break everything down and put it away in a closet, eh, maybe go with a mechanized one. It's all about portability, isn't it, babe? Hello? That's all I got for you. Go buy a new sewing machine already. Yes, T out. See ya.